Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Devil Maze is a melee weapon that deals the highest damage in Boulder's Gate 3, and you can even acquire multiple of them. So you can get two and put one on each hand of your dual wielding build. In this video, I will show you how to get this very overpowered maze early on in Act 3, and make the rest of the game much easier. Now, if you're new here, I post game guides, reviews and walkthroughs for various games, if you found the content you like, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more. Now, without further ado, let's get started. We will be starting from the Basilisk Gate Waypoint, which is about here on the map in the lower city. Now from the waypoint, we are turning right. There is a building right next to it. Enter from here, and we can see there's a priest inside of it. We don't want him to look out towards the door. Now you can either wait until he turns around. Doesn't seem like he's moving, so we'll be sending one guy and go talk to him so that we can distract him. Greetings, child of faith. Be welcome. And now we can swap to the rest of the group. You can see there's a hatch here, just a lock picket. It's a very easy lock, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Ready for some now once we enter, be careful where you go, because this place is full of traps. So let's just go ahead and disarm all of them. These traps are all very easy. Now, if you don't have a character who can disarm traps, or you don't have enough toolkit, you can actually ignore all of those traps because they don't really deal too much of damage. But our goal is heading towards this way and go through this door. Oh, there's a final trap, and we can also just move this wooden crate and try to use it to block the vent. And there we go, we are safe to enter. Now we can see there are multiple chests inside of it. Open them up, they all have pretty good loot inside of it. But as soon as you loot the items, you will get cursed. And this is what we want. I also recommend you to use different characters, open those chests, so you can have multiple characters have the curse. That's all depends on how many mazes you want to get, but two is pretty much enough. Let's get on with it. Now we have looted everything, and our character is cursed. Now you can either go back to camp, or any places doesn't have too many people around. So I'm just coming to the other city ruins. I must keep going. Now over here, prepare for battle. We are ready to remove the curse. As soon as we remove the curse, a naked guy with wings will spawn, and he will start to attack us. And this is a devil. Is a kind of an angel or demon, depends on your perspective, I guess. But let's just go ahead and kill them. At this point of the game, this fight shouldn't be too difficult. Unless you are at the very beginning of Act 3. So make sure you remove the curse one by one, so you can fight the devils one by one.
Now he is dead. Let's rinse and repeat this process until we dispel all the curses. Pick up their naked bodies and we are ready to go back to camp. Drop their bodies next to a bed. And we can go to sleep. In the morning, we found out the angels are gone, but they left us a few pouches. Open them up, and there you go, we got Daiwa's maze. Depends on how many angels you fought, how many bodies you have taken back, that's how many mazes you will get. You can see this maze has really high damage. Let's put it in perspective, to compare it with some of the most powerful legendary weapons in the game. Daiwa maze still wings out in terms of damage number. Now, there you have it. That's how you get the melee weapon that deals the highest damage in this game. It's time for you to try out a new build with these weapons. I hope you find this video useful. Please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.